So, hello lovely people on the internet. It's Jane Cameron from janecameron.co.uk and I've got something really exciting for you today. Okay, so, as you know, I've been experimenting with ways to apply powder, glass powder, to glass sheet. And obviously we have tried the electric toothbrush, we have tried the uh, battery pad nail buffing tool. So we've tried the electric toothbrush, we've tried the nail buffing tool, but now um, we've also tried a variety of ways of applying these, including biros, which are here, biros, and icing tips attached to plastic pipe. So, I've got something different for you today and entirely more traditional. So, here we have a paper version of the tool which they use in Tibet to make their mandalas with, their sand mandalas. Now, obviously, your posh tool is made of brass. Your posh tool is ridged along here so that when you stroke it with your tool it makes the cone vibrate and the powder comes out at the end. However, I didn't have a ridged piece of paper so I thought I will try. So this is one piece of one piece of normal A4 paper and what you do is you roll it to the corner so let me just put let me just put this frit away so while I'm getting slightly off track a good thing about this cone it's really easy to refill just stick it in the big end and it comes out the small end it's brilliant so all you have to do to make one of these is take your paper and roll like this making sure that that corner there you can see there is nice and tight and once it's all nice and tight and pointy then sellotape it down and you've got yourself a mandala tool so obviously you can make these with different size ends so this one is probably about one or two millimeters if that probably about one to one and a half um, if you make a really big one, this one here, you can probably just about see that, has about ooh, uh, six, six mil tip, something like that. And this one I found is pretty good for medium frit. This one is also made out of cardboard. It's made out of, I think it's 160 gram, um, 160 gram A4 sheet of cardboard and roll it round so you've got about a six mil opening and that works pretty well for medium frit. I will show you both of these now. So step one, let's do the medium frit because it's nice and easy to see. So one tool for applying medium frit. Okay now we need some frit. So this is where you cover the end with your finger. Get your frit. Notice it's all down the middle. Pick it up and Tip it in. That is so much easier than the biro on the previous video, isn't it? Now, when I take my hand off, you can see a certain amount, and that's fairly controllable all by itself, isn't it? But if we add the electric toothbrush, I did try this with the nail buffer, but it has the wrong sort of vibration. Because the nail buffer goes round and round, you don't get that up and down motion you need to vibrate the frit out of the end. Oh, by the way, if you get a whole size which is too small, like I did in my first experiment, I went for something that was a few mils smaller. Um, when I tried it with the medium frit, all it did when I added the toothbrush was it compacted all the frit down the end and just made it into one solid lump and it wouldn't come out at all. So, let's see how this works, shall we? Okay, toothbrush. Turn it on. Now, I'm using, you can see there's a flat part of the toothbrush, I'll bring that up, flat part of the toothbrush, rounded part of the toothbrush. Now, the flat part makes it vibrate too much and sprays it everywhere. 
the rounder part just gives it a lot more control. So let's give it a go. Touch. So you can see that if I basically touch it to the glass and run it along the glass, I get... Whoop! <laughs> Careful there. I get nice even lines. And the trick is, stop just before you need it to. Oh, I've run out. So, as you can see that, turn it off. That is pretty good. So that is that size there, which is with the medium frit. So, let me pop that to one side. Let me get the frit off here. One, two, three. La. And now, let's go and try the powder. Okay, so we're back to everybody's favourite, the French vanilla powder. We're on the very fine tip now. Obviously, I can not get much out of the end, but if you want really subtle, we can do really subtle. But if you want a really nice line, are you ready for this? One of these, one of these, using these rounded side. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Look at the control you've got on this. So, you can see that also, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for filling in areas too. You can also copy designs. Let me just get my design and I'll pop it underneath and show you how easy it is to trace a design. So, going up, going on, coming down. So, here is some passion flower I prepared earlier. So let's pop that to one side, pop that on top. So, obviously this would be much easier to do in black, but I've got French vanilla on here. So let's maybe take that bit there. So I'm going to do a bit of that flower and some of these squiggly bits. And it'd be a good idea if my glass was actually kind of flat, wouldn't it? That's better. Okay, ready to roll. So, going on. This one also has much less leakage out the tip. So it's on. Alrighty, let's start with the spiral.
Okay, well I think that gives you enough to see what this is capable of. So, let me just now remove the stencil and you can see, carefully, carefully, how well we've done. Let's have a look. So, here is our stencil and there was our original. So, obviously the flower needs a bit of work, but this is where you can now start to tidy things up. You can use a little brush or any kind of little tool just to scrape, move, reorganise whatever you want to reorganise. So if I want that to move into the centre a bit more, this is where you can just touch it up a bit if you want to. I think that petal's got a little bit short shrift. That is better. Okay, so let me know what you think. I am so thrilled with the paper cone method. So this is the paper cone. The paper cone is also traditionally known as a chakpur. C-H-A-K-P-U-R, often spelt as one word. These are traditionally made of brass and they're for sand mandalas, but this does work really well with the electric toothbrush to get these fine lines. So, go forth, experiment, all you need is a piece of paper. Off you go. Have fun. <laughs>